The day is finally here. I have finally got my hands on one of these Gavin Hawk Deadlock Model Cs. And for those of you who don't know, this is absolutely the most perfect OTF pocket knife on the market. And everything about this is just mind-blowingly seamless. I'm going to get into what exactly I mean in a little bit. But compared to other OTF knives that I've handled, this thing honestly blows my mind. And this is the first time I have handled one of these. And I knew it was going to be amazing, but it really exceeded my expectations. Like, I knew the action was going to be unbelievably smooth. But it's smoother than I thought. Like, how could that be? <laughs> And they say that the deadlock, they call they don't call it the deadlock for no reason. The blade is 100% solid. No blade play. Like, people say that and it's 100% true. Like, they're not messing around. <laughs> Whereas, I mean, if you know about OTF knives, all OTF knives have a little bit of blade play. Like this here, my Microtech Ultratech wiggles just a tiny bit that's completely normal for all otf knives except the legendary deadlock which this is the model c they do have like a model a version and a model b they're pretty hard to get the only way you can get them is if from the secondary market or from the gavin hawk newsletter which they do random they do random drops throughout the year and these things are expensive. Like to get one of these brand new. You go the model C's go anywhere. Depending on the version. This is I think one of the least expensive versions. And it, you can get them for eighteen hundred dollars. Yes, eighteen hundred. <laughs> That's a lot of money for a pocket knife, but but they have other versions like with the full titanium skills and like different different type of carbon fiber inlays like with fat carbon different anodizations on the buttons or the switches I should say and on like the the pocket clip and on this little metal this little titanium grip plate thing but yeah this is basically the base least expensive model of the model C the model B looks a little different a little bit of a different design. I think those are a little more expensive, even. But when I say the action is smooth on this thing, it's so smooth. Like, you can just watch it slowly deploy. Like, it's just seamless. Like, there's no other word for it. And then if you slowly watch the, mic, the Ultratech deploy, like, and listen... probably hard to tell if you're not actually firing the blade out yourself like, this is a nice knife three hundred dollars for this but you can tell the price difference you can definitely tell that this is this is my grill I don't own this knife unfortunately this was lent to me by my friend Corey Frost he runs a group on Facebook called Knives in Trees. I'll put the link in the description. It's a buy, sell, trade, a knife group where he he sells, he posts ads on a weekly basis with hundreds of good quality used knives for sale. So if you want to get some nice knives for not new prices, then I would highly recommend checking out his group. If you have a Facebook this deadlock is actually for sale on his group right now. I think he's asking $1,200 for it. And you're probably wondering why such a low price. Because I was saying these go for like $1,800 new. But this is a little bit of an a used condition. It's got some scuffs on it as you can see like right there. And in a few other places. The blade, though, the blade's in very good condition. No scratches at all or chips on the edge. The blade's in very good condition. And the scale, 
the the knife is in very good condition. It's just got a few scuffs on it, like there too. Nothing crazy. And something very cool about the deadlock OTF knives is the pocket clip. I've never seen pocket clips like this on any other knives. I wish other companies would like at least try to do something like this. But super cool, like absolutely love this pocket clip. Like it's just like freaking clothespin type deal. Super handy. Um just the weight also the weight is important to note like the ultra tech is a good weight too but definitely a little lighter it's just like aluminum and steel and this feels like it has some more like has a little bit more weight to it it feels more expensive it yeah <laughs> it doesn't feel cheap basically it doesn't feel cheap now let's see if I can get some good close-up shots of this. Something else I can mention is how well designed the switch is. The switch is just the switch is perfect it grabs your thumb so well you don't have to it takes very little effort to deploy the blade and when the blade does come out like there's a nice little wall like you there's like a spring tension and it comes to a wall and then you just break the wall and then it closes and same with the deployment spring tension to the wall and then you break the wall it's just the the switch is perfect the action is seamless just like the rest of the knife of course or there's like the switch on this thing definitely a good switch it works just fine but you have to push down co like quite a bit more and same to retract the blade like it takes quite a bit more effort and then also i do I almost feel like I like the switch on this side of the scales rather than on the top. But, I mean, it makes more sense, at least, for a dagger blade. This is, I mean, all Ultra Techs are like this, but this is a single edge, so having the switch up here makes sense. This thing is just so perfect. It's... Like I said, it exceeded my expectations. Like, I've heard a lot of people talk about this knife. I'm even in the Gavin Hawk group where people post and talk about these things all the time. I've seen plenty of videos from channels like Neves Knives and uh, Metal Complex and a few other channels talking about just how perfect these are. And I... I just didn't understand, I guess. Now, now I understand. Let me know what your first impression of the Gavin Hogg deadlock is, and let me know in the comments if you would ever think about spending close to $2,000 for a pocket knife. 